We are Creative Works. Creative Works! Coming to you live from the Creative Works Theater in New York City, it's Creative Caviar! And now, your host from Google's Creative Works team, it's Jeff Miner. Welcome to Creative Caviar, the show that serves up the richest creative insights produced by Google's Creative Works team. And today, I am thrilled to welcome my friend and colleague, Ariane Laporte. Now, Ariane is a creative effectiveness lead on our team, and she has some amazing new research that she wants to share with us. Hi, everyone. I'm so thrilled to be here today with you. I'm going to share with you a breakthrough in creative effectiveness measurement. And the key word here is measurement, because creative effectiveness, that's always been the name of the game for our team. But this project really dove into actually quantifying exactly how valuable it is. Marketers have long known that the number one driver of campaign effectiveness is creative, and that to drive impact on YouTube, you need to master the ABCDs. The ABCDs are creative effectiveness guidelines to make better ads on YouTube, and they're proven to drive brand metrics from awareness to purchase intent, and now even conversion. Okay, well, hold on, I gotta stop you right there. So, the, so I wanna talk about that. Uh, <laughs> but I also wanna talk about um, the ABCDs. So I've said that, that, that phrase, I don't know, a billion times since I've worked on this team. Okay. How do we come up with the ABCDs? The ABCDs uh, are based on a methodology that is human and machines coming together. So uh, with both playing to their strengths, we try to deconstruct an ad and really try to understand what are all the components. So think of the audio, the visuals, and then we run correlations to understand what's the link between CTAs, for example, on performance. Bringing in a third party partner, which was Nielsen. That really changed the scope of the project so that we could truly understand the, the holistic value from a sales perspective that the ABCDs have. So in partnering with them, we're able to run the same analysis we run for the ABCDs, but now on sales. You should read the whole report. There's so many great things in there, but there are two specific slides that I think are really important for people to understand. Speak to the takeaways um, and what the most important things to remember are. Can we do that? Okay, All right, slide number one coming up right here. Essential. Why should you care? Why should you optimize your ads to the ABCDs? And that is because when you do, you see an increase in sales lift and RAS of 31 to 38% versus ads that are not optimized. And what's more, we see that very few people are doing it. Only 30% of YouTube impressions feature ABCD optimized ads. It's not just the ABCDs drive sales, it's the fact that they're still so underutilized. I mean, we've talked about the ABCDs for years now, and we're still under 30% utilization. You have an example of an ad that does a really great job of hitting these best practices. Yeah, I absolutely love this one from Liquid Plumber. What they did is showed their benefit in a very straightforward, mesmerizing manner. Liquid Plumber versus Home Spa Clog. Oh my oh. gosh. Time to get clogging. This, this sink, sink? clogged. Look at oh, that. Man. She's about to oh go. My. Oh, oh. Damn. I truly think it's a brilliant ad. It hits on all the best practices from establishing the context at the very beginning, branding off it through audio and visuals. They're connecting with their audience by making people further their story. And most of all, they keep it simple. Okay, I have a, a second slide I wanna show you. Here's this one for everybody at home. Slide number two. Yeah, I think this one is critical because I told you the tension we were facing is trying to understand how much of those drivers we identified using brand lift surveys were also valid for sales. And here you can see the overlap is huge. When you optimize for the ABCDs, not only do you optimize for your brand metrics, but sales as well. A ton of really great questions have come in um, about this report, so I'd love your help in answering them. We're gonna take a quick break, get the word from our sponsors, pay the bills, then after break, we'll pick up those questions. Don't you dare hit that skip button. We'll be right back. When you hear ROI, do you really think ROI? Are you feeling like all the fun has been sucked out of the funnel? Do you wake up in the morning screaming, why can't this all be easier? Well, now it can. Introducing the new, improved ABCDs, organized by marketing objectives. You'll be able to enjoy the deeper global creative guidance aligned to awareness, consideration, and everybody's favorite, action. But wait, there's more. 
For the first time ever in our team's history, we're also releasing the full funnel ABCDs by vertical. We have auto, we have retail, we have tech, we got beauty, we got FBR, we got HPC, I got finance, I've got gaming. Did you hear your industry called out? I bet you did. We just put the fun back in that funnel. Call today. Thank you, thank you everyone, and welcome back to the show. I have some questions that I need to ask you from our mailbag. So question number one mm. comes from someone you know really well and who has really been a friend of Creative Works for quite some time. So this is Arthur, a measurement lead in GCAS. Yeah. And Arthur asks, how do you recommend we advise brands asking where to start and what are the things that advertisers can do immediately to drive impact? And the beauty of the research is that actually we can prioritize those creative lovers. So we know exactly which one have the highest impact on performance. We know that branding is one of the most critical items. So from the beginning, but also at the end and CTAs are extremely important as well. So what we found is that the last five seconds will actually make or break your ad. And this example from IHOP actually really demonstrates this very well. Right now at IHOP, order any breakfast combo and we'll throw in all-you-can-eat pancakes. So break out your all-you-can-eat silverware. All-you-can-eat pancakes with any breakfast combo. Or just get all-you-can-eat pancakes for $4.99 at IHOP. We love all of the branding and everything, but also the mouth-watering food shots throughout. That's a best practice from FBR, correct? It, it truly is. It invites people to indulge. Yeah, well, I mean, it worked on me because now I want pancakes. Uh, great question from Arthur. Thanks for writing in. Uh, okay, second question. Question number two from Lori in our YouTube Fashion and Beauty Partnerships team. Lori asks, when it comes to execution, if all brands followed these guidelines, mm -hmm. wouldn't all ads end up looking the same? There are many different ways to execute on a given ingredient. So let's take, for example, humor. Many, many, many different ways this could come to life. And we're providing data to inform. We're providing a direction, right? And some sort of prioritization, like we were saying with Arthur. But by no means are we telling brands, you know, what to do exactly. Try to think of it as your jumping off point rather than the destination. Mm -hmm. um, really good question from Lori. Lori, shout out to you for writing in. Um, question number three comes from Masha who sits on our US LCS team. She works on the Nissan account. And Masha okay. asks, um, her question is regarding the future of creative effectiveness. Mm -hmm. What happens after we master these guidelines? Well, that's it. You go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, as you mentioned, it's very much just the starting off point. It's what's going to make an ad work on YouTube? What's going to make an ad you know, break YouTube is very different, right? And so once you master the basics, it's very much about understanding what's gonna work for you, for your voice, for your positioning. And for that, we can only recommend experimenting. Every single presentation I've given on this team, that you've given on this team, uh, since we started, always ended with experimentation is the best practice. I think it's it's, I just have a feeling that the audience is going to want to talk more about this. What's the best way to partner with Google both activating this research that you've led, but also on creative effectiveness in general. Mm -hmm. My recommendation is to start with your Google account team. They will help you to scope out your need. You know, is it experimentation? Is it research? Is it a script you're working on? And they will navigate the company so as to put you in touch with the right contact. It may be a creative director, but it may also be a global creative effectiveness lead like me. From everybody in the audience, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Not only for leading the research, but actually walking us all through it. This is super complex work, but you always are able to boil it down in a way that anybody can understand. So we thank you for that. And that's a great place for us to land on. Once again, I'm Jeff Miner. This has been Creative Caviar, and we are Creative Works. And now it's time to celebrate. <laughs>